What's going on, Internet? It's your boy, Will. I'm here with the first ever true, real episode of Cooking with Will. Today we're doing something that takes 15 minutes to cook. It's not hard. It's going to be super easy. You need four ingredients, five ingredients possibly. And uh, it's going to be super easy. It's going to leave you with some leftovers so that you have some meal prep for the week. If you make enough of it, you could, you know, really make four or five other meals out of the leftovers that are going to be super simple. And I'm going to show you to make those in other episodes. So what we're first going to do is, what we're making today is a simple shredded chicken dish. Uh, it's really easy, it's simple, it's just salt, pepper, chicken, some chicken stock. You cook it, and then you shred it, and then you put it on whatever you want. So it's not hard, it's probably the easiest thing you can make ever. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just clean up our chicken breasts a little bit, make them easier to cook, uh, make them a little less, you know, crappy. I, we did, uh, I, chicken, chicken is one of those things that can come in really good, but you're gonna pay for it, or it's gonna come in really cheap, and you have to clean it up. I prefer to just, you know, grab the cheap cuts, it makes it so much more accessible for other people to cook, people that don't have money. Uh, so what I got here, five chicken breasts, cost me 10 bucks, there's nothing special about them. We are gonna have to clean them up a little bit though. And yeah. Now, the reason we have to clean them up is because the more expensive cuts, uh, more expensive chicken breasts, these are already boneless, skinless chicken breasts. But they come with a lot of little bits of fat and shit on there that you don't want. Uh, you're gonna look in there, look for veins that you don't want. I'm not a big fan of the fat, so. And for this, you don't really this dish, you don't really need it. If you were, you know, doing something else, maybe you might need the fat a little bit more. But, bam, just go through, check your breast, get any gross fat or gristle pieces, little pieces of cartilage off. Uh, Another thing you're gonna learn today is you don't need super expensive knives or anything like that. This knife is literally out of a $60 knife block from Canadian Tire. There's nothing special about it. I have knives that cost more than my entire knife block. But, yeah. So you're just gonna go through. You don't need, you know, expensive knives really. Though you do need a sharp knife, so if you do get a $60 knife block per se, and it comes with a honing steel. Make sure you use it. Uh, I might show you in another video proper way to use it if you guys ask for it. If you don't ask for it, I won't show you. Uh, again, this is my first episode, so I'm just rambling. The sound's gonna suck because I don't have any good microphones or anything. I'm just filming this on a shitty camera that's been to hell and back for me. I just want to stop using Snapchat, really. So I'm gonna ramble a lot, but it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna clean up all the little veins. The gross in there. You don't really want those. Especially because I'm making this for my kid. And I know if he sees the little bits of blood and veiny crap in there, he's not gonna like it. He's not gonna eat it. And that's another thing. This dish is perfect for people that are very fussy. If they like chicken, they like this. Again, it's not super hard. It's actually the easiest thing in the world. Just go through little bits of crap in there. Uh, if you want to see me cook anything, if you want to request something, just, you know, leave a comment down below when this video is over. Maybe leave a comment while you're watching the video. I will try and cook anything that you want to cook. I was supposed to do steak for my first really good episode, but I got lazy and I don't feel like going outside in the winter and grilling, so. Uh, so yeah. This breast is actually probably one of the cleanest breasts out there, so just get that little vein out of there. Luckily, there's no good giant chunks of cartilage, so that's excellent. So yeah, as I said, this is a sixty-dollar knife, and it's doing the job really well. Uh, always make sure that you have a garbage handy. Thankfully, the way my kitchen was set up, garbage is right here, right where I am cutting, so it just works out perfectly fine. Just rip that little, little piece of cartilage off that one. Cool, excellent. So there, there's your chicken breasts. They're all good to go. If you wanna go ahead and just give them a little butterfly, 
that'd be excellent, that'd be great. Quick way to get them cooking a little faster. So I'm just gonna go through, keep your blade flat. Just open it like a nice little, this little book. My butterflying skills suck, just so you know. Uh, another thing about this, I was never trained how to cook. I didn't go to school for it. It's just something I've always done from helping my grandma through caterings and stuff like that to just having to cook on my own. So everything that I've learned and everything I'm gonna teach you is everything I learned on my own. So that's another reason why you should watch my channel and not somebody else's channel. So yeah, that's a better one. That was a good job, Will, good job. One thing you want to do when you're cooking is when you do a good job, you tell yourself you did a good job. That's the number one, besides having a sharp knife so you don't kill yourself or slice yourself open. This is really, again, this is really easy to do if you are in a dorm room or something, you live in college. That one, I'm not going to butterfly, there's no point. Uh, so yeah, we don't need the knife anymore. See how easy this is? Just a little cutting, good to go. And moving on to the next step. Alrighty then. So, here we are. Turn the heat on here quickly. So what you can do next, just gonna get your pan. I've got about a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of olive oil in here heating up. And so, once that's heated up, you're gonna put your chicken breasts in the pan and get them nice and seared. And this way, chicken breasts get nice and cooked. Before we do that though, I'm gonna liberally season the crap out of these chicken breasts. Just gonna grab my salt, my pepper, and just gonna season each side of the chicken breast while we're waiting for that to heat up. You'll know it's heated up once it starts to start to ripple and bubble, like you just tossed a rock into a pond. So there's one chicken breast, flip it over. A little more salt, a little more pepper. I'm just gonna do this for each piece of chicken. Again, you can see I'm wearing gloves because I don't like getting chicken crap all over my hand. I don't like washing my hands 15, 20 times a day. It's annoying. I wash my hands enough at work. I don't want to wash my hands every 25 minutes at home. Especially when I'm cooking. I'm sure the sound just got a whole lot worse because I had to switch cameras because my other camera died because I was not prepared. Well, that's not true. My camera said it was fully charged, but turns out that was a lie. Music just died there. That's embarrassing. So we're going without music for the rest of the show. So again, just season liberally. You can't really see that. I guess I can turn the camera here. There we go. There you go. Get that pan nice and ripping hot. I don't use fancy salts. I don't use fancy peppers. I don't use fancy olive oil. I use $3 bottles of olive oil. These salt shakers and pepper grinders probably cost me a buck. Uh, people I know don't like cooking. They think it's too expensive. But really, it's way cheaper than going out. I understand that the not everyone has the time to cook, but really, when it comes down to it, cooking at home is so much better for you. This is almost ready here. It's starting to hear it pop and crackle, it's excellent. So you're just gonna lay your chicken breast in, you hear that nice little sear. There we go. I may have cut too many chicken breasts here. We'll make it work, we'll make it work. Rip this one in half. Flip it over here. We're gonna be moving these around, and of course, once they start to cook, they're gonna shrink as the moisture cooks out of them. So once these get in here, you're gonna get them. You're gonna, you want a nice sear on them. You don't want them half seared, half not seared. You're gonna cook them to 165 degrees. That is the cooking temperature of the chicken. Grab your tongs. Now we're just gonna wash this cook. It's gonna be amazing. 
And I'm telling you, this is the easiest thing you'll ever cook. It's literally chicken breast in a pan. Always keep your workspace clean. Don't forget that, that's important. Still don't find out what happened to music here. Close that. So yeah, the reason you want a nice, yeah, it's not seared enough yet, it's still a little white. Music's back, excellent. This guy's not even getting touched here because he's not. You gotta move your chicken breast around, make sure everything is getting cooked. We're starting to get there on that guys. Almost there on all of them. So we good, except for that middle one. Uh, searing locks in the juices, it locks in the flavor. I've got them nice and seasoned. It's gonna be an excellent, quick and easy shredded chicken. You can't go wrong with it. Unless you undercook it, then you die. That's a real thing. You'll get salmonella, even though I'm not eating salmon. So yeah, cook your chicken. Once it starts getting white up the edges of the chicken breast, that's when you know it's starting to get to the time where you flip it. An easier way to do this is to grab a pan. Not a pan, sorry. Lid. Grab the lid for your pan and just cover it. Oh, that's the wrong lid. That's a okay. pan. Just grab the right lid for your pans. That's not even the right lid, but it's a lid that fits. Once you cover it, it just kind of creates a little oven in there, cooks in the lava a little bit faster if you don't have enough time. This does only take 15 minutes. You might be able to see here on my back burners, I've got rice cooking here. Because that's what we're going to serve this on. My kid loves rice. I love rice. This is long grain white rice. Just giving it a little stir here. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes on low. So really, if you start this the same time you start your chicken, everything will be done at the same time. I started the rice a little bit early just because. Oh yeah. With the thing with long grain white rice not minute rice but with actual rice you actually have to cook is you don't want to cook it before rinsing it you have to rinse it off first get all the dust and the starchiness off of it and there you go so that's done the rice is done on the other back burner over there i've got my chicken stock i made just for this recipe you don't have to make chicken stock canned chicken stock will work Normal water will work, box chicken stock will work, but I have, I just use a bouillon cube of chicken stock. That's going there. So I'm gonna do an episode of this if you guys actually like it, and you actually wanna see more. I'm gonna do an episode of like pantry essentials, things that you should have that aren't gonna go bad quickly. Things that got like six months shelf life that you should keep in your kitchen all the time. Uh, do a rundown of all the spices that I keep. Maybe I'll even do a rundown of my spice rubs that I make for my pulled porks and my tacos and stuff like that. You know this little hole in the end of your pans that keep your wooden spoon from dripping everywhere? You're supposed to just be able to go like that and it drips back into the pan. That's a fact you didn't know. Now you know it. So we're gonna let this continue to cook. Just gonna turn the temperature up just a little bit. And then we're gonna start scooping in the chicken stock into here to cover the chicken breasts and get them to start boiling down and become shredded. It's gonna be great. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's gonna be amazing. For those of you that are looking at, you know, trying to be healthier, you can always use low sodium chicken stock or you can just use water. Uh, it's not really the best way to do it. So now we got a sear on these chicken breasts here. I'm gonna go ahead. I know it's a weak sear, but sear it nonetheless. I'm gonna just grab a ladle here. Always keep your accoutrements, your tools close by. Oh, oh, just make lots, all the noise too. Cooking is about making noise. You're gonna want about three quarters of a cup. You could obviously go ahead and measure this. Me, I'm just gonna do a couple ladlefuls in here. Get the chicken breast nice and coated. Get them on a nice 10 minute simmer, we'll say. 
There. So now, you got your chicken stock. You're gonna cover this. Turn your temperature up. Get this to a nice simmer. Bam. My stove thankfully has this nice little power boil feature. So I can get it up to a boil and then bring it down. Another thing I'm gonna wanna do here, just make sure all the chicken breasts are in the liquid here. There we go. One thing you need to notice from my, my cooking show here that I've got going on, that you're not gonna notice in a lot of other people's cooking shows, is that I'm trying to do this all in one take, or as much as I can in one take. Obviously I gotta move sections of the, of the place. Uh, I, Planning on getting like a little induction cooktop, they're only like 60 bucks. Just so I can use that so I can stay in one area. But for now, you have to put up with me having to move from area to area of my kitchen. So as you can see here, you can't see because it's blurry because of that, but it's starting to boil here. So what you're gonna want to do, just let it just get to a nice rolling boil. So every spot in that chicken stock is boiling. Then turn it down for a simmer, and then we'll move on from there. So to get to this point, it's already been 10 minutes. Obviously, I'm taking longer to explain everything. If I was actually doing this just without filming it, it would take me... I would be done by now, probably. So we're gonna go here. Yeah, it's nice and boiling, as you can see. There's boiling everywhere so you're gonna turn it down and just let it simmer for the next seven to ten minutes and I'll see you when it's done all right so the lighting in here sucks but chickens out it's all loosey-goosey it's nice and tender now so now you just want to go ahead and just rip it apart and uh, you don't have to rip it apart but we are making shredded chicken so it makes sense that you would shred it uh, so yeah I just want to rip it up little pieces Use it for whatever you want. You can throw this in a wrap. If you want to just throw it in it's pasta. Nice little pasta sauce thing going on, you know. There you go. Like, it's perfectly cooked all the way through. It's tender. It's moist as shit because you cooked it in chicken stock. Uh, so, yeah, just rip it apart there. Nice little chunks. And, yeah, go ahead. Throw this in a wrap. I'm throwing it on rice tonight. But you could, you know, make some Mexican rice. Make some Mexican rice, throw it in a burrito, have a little chicken burrito going on. And really, it's just simple. It's oil, olive oil, salt, pepper, and some chicken stock. It takes 15 minutes. You're good to go. No one's going to complain. No one's going to be like, this sucks. It's quick. It's easy. If you're on a budget, it's great. If you're not on a budget, it's still great. But yeah, just rip her apart. Get yourself a tortilla. Maybe a little chicken tacos, little shredded chicken tacos here. And if you're gonna go that route, you can, you know, season your chicken a little bit afterwards, you know? Throw a little hot sauce on there or something. But yeah, look at that. It's 10 minutes, perfectly cooked chicken, perfectly delicious chicken. You can't go wrong. Like, really. And this is great. Like, if you, you know, you live on your own, you don't got much money, you know, 10 bucks for four chicken breasts, you've got enough food here for you know, a couple of wraps, three or four days, you know, if you use it sparingly. You know, maybe you get, you know, a good paycheck. You go out, you buy yourself 10 chicken breasts or something like that. And just make it in little batches and look at all that chicken. You know, like, there's a wrap, there's a pasta, there's another pasta, you know, there's some salad. Look at that, there's four meals right there. You got leftovers here, you know, you got a friend come over, so now you got to make a little chicken, a little, make a little chicken dish here, you know. So there you go, chicken salad sandwich, chicken pasta, chicken tacos, chicken burritos, chicken wrap, and you know what, chicken on a salad. Can't go wrong, six meals. This will last in your fridge for three to four days. Again, I'm using gloves. And like really, what are you, what are you gonna do? Like, you're gonna say, you're gonna say this is stupid? You're gonna say this is dumb? No man, you're, you're eating on a budget, and I just made you six meals, and pasta's cheap as shit, you know, lettuce ain't it that cheap, but you throw some chicken on there, you just made yourself a fancy salad. Tortilla, tortillas are like a buck ninety-nine for a pack of six. Can't go wrong. I'm Will. This has been Cooking with Will. This is my first episode. It sucks royally. I know it does. You know it does. But like, comment, subscribe. Let's try and make this better. 
whatever you want to see next, I will cook it. I don't really, I don't have anything planned for my next episode, but I will cook anything. I'm going to be cooking in my slow cooker. I'll be cooking on my stove again. I'm going to make an awesome salad. I know that's coming up soon. Uh, I can't bake, but I'll try to bake if you guys want me to bake something. So yeah, let's uh, hit me up with whatever you want and we'll try and make this happen. We'll try and make this delicious. I'm trying to teach you how to cook. I might learn some things on the way. As I said, I'm self-taught. I was never taught how to do this. So yeah, let's just, let's cook together. Let's learn to cook together. Let's make the world a better place one plate at a time. I'm Will, as I said, this is Cook with Will. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, and I hope to see you all in the next video. I hope there is another video. I hope you guys want to see another video. Uh, if you don't want to see another video, I'm going to make another video anyways. Maybe you don't want to see it, but maybe somebody else does. So come on out. Let's cook together. As I said, let's change the world peacefully, one plate at a time. World peace and chicken grease. Let's do this.